Welcome. I am making this video because I wanted to start a game that uh, I already played a long time ago but felt nostalgic about and just simply wanted to run through it once again. And I ran into an issue when not installing nor downloading the game but when launching it. Uh, some of you might see a different version of this. Unfortunately, I resolved this issue so I'm not able to show you live how it looks on my screen. But essentially, it's about these numbers here, this string of numbers and letters, whatever. And uh, I spent hours, as mentioned, to try and resolve the issue. And I finally ran into a thread on one of the online forums. And I wanted to create a YouTube video about it, just so to make it easier for everyone to resolve this problem. And hopefully you run into this video and hopefully it helps you. So let's begin. The solution to this problem is essentially by downloading all the files that you need to download and installing or extracting them. The first of the files is the DirectX file. You download it and you install it. It's very simple. The second one is also a DirectX file, slightly different from the previous one. You download this one and you install it. Although I believe that this is the file that when you want to install, it actually asks of you to extract it to a specific folder. When you run into this part of the process, the folder that you should select to extract the files in is the folder that has the game launcher in. So in this case, for me, when I go into the Arkham Asylum game, the game launcher is in the folder binaries. Here it is. And this is where you want to extract all the files. The third file is a Visual C++ all in one. You download this one, you run the installer. I believe if I remember correctly, it's going to open the command prompt window. Fear not, it's not going to do anything bad to your computer. The first thing that you're going to notice is that it's going to ask you to press Y for yes, press N for no. And the question that it's asking you is whether you should allow this program to delete already installed Visual C++ files and programs in your computer before installing this all in one version. I clicked yes because it's convenient. You can click no, go into your installed applications and manually delete all Visual C++ files that you have and then go back here, run the program again. And when you are asked this question, you click N for no, and then it's going to install the all the files. But in my opinion, either or works. I just clicked yes because it's convenient. The process is that it automatically deletes all those Visual C++ that you already have installed. It deletes them for you and then installs all the other Visual C++ files. And I'm going to show them right here. You can see it's not one file that represents all of them. It's just this file contains all of them and it installs them for you. And finally, this last file contains all DLL files for all games. This is the actual file that helped resolve my issue. I have a belief that this will be the solution to your problem as well. However, these previous steps are also uh, the steps that I took before doing this one. So I can't say with 100% certainty that this alone helped, although I am pretty confident that this is the major solution to it. The files that are contained here are all DLL files with the exception of Steam API. Uh, I personally added this steam underscore API DLL into this file here simply because there are some people out there that don't purchase games and I used to be one of those people and having this steam file might be a helper and savior in those moments for those people. So it's basically pretty simple. You download the files and you extract files into the same folder where the game launcher is and you can see all of those DLL files right here. All of those DirectX, all of those DLL files, they're all in here. So even the Steam API file. And that's pretty much it. When you're done, one of the other things that I would suggest is that you click on the game launcher, go right click and go into properties. When you go into compatibility, you select run this program as an administrator, click apply and click OK. And when you want to launch the game, I suggest that you launch it from your desktop shortcut and not from this file nor from Steam. OK. So start the game from the desktop shortcut. And that's it. Let me know if this helped. And I wish you all happy gaming. Take care.